up, car friends? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Wheelie Cool Videos, the car show about modified cars based in Southern California. As always, with your hosts, Big Stu and Idris. What's up, guys? As always, as always thanks to Phoenix Studios, New Pod Lop, and thanks to our producers, Matt and Chris, for their continued support. Yeah, thanks, guys. Big shout. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, so this week, Wheelie Cool Find, we are shouting out an awesome L.A. graphic artist. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, man. I feel like I've never met this guy in person, but you know on social media, sometimes like you just have the same taste as somebody, and of like course. you click, yeah. and like you comment, and, like you like in every like pick. you've been best friends for yeah, years. I've never yeah. met him, yeah. but we're only an hour apart yeah. uh, distance-wise, but I feel like he's my like good, what good does car he do? homie. What, he's, a he's a graphic artist. He does car renderings. Okay. So I've we're gonna, seen him almost positive. I've yeah, you, I've definitely tagged you in his pics. Yeah. So help me out with the pronunciation of his, pronunciation of his name. It's a little hard, but ah. you're the ethnic one, so hit Avidus me with it. Avidus <laughs> Yingilian. Yeah, the D is silent in his name. Hopefully um, we got that correctly. If not, we apologize. Either way, your yeah. renderings, incredible. Shouts. Some of the stuff that you've done that I've seen. Um, check I mean, the check the comments before. for the actual Instagram tag and check out his his uh, his account. But what were you saying? Some of the cars that stood out to you. I well, know I've seen. I mean. So yeah, right off the gate, he did this uh, Triumph TR4, this green thing uh -huh. with the carbon roof. With the Turbo Max. Green Turbo Max. Mm -hmm. Favorite wheels. Anything on Turbo Max, I'm gonna love it. This guy captured it on this Triumph and. Uh, this British styling with the... He's got incredible taste. It's his taste. It's, it's his point, taste. Man. It's his, his taste. taste. All his renderings, his color points, his the way every single car yeah. sits, the wheel choice, the uh, the paint on there. Everything is just... Yeah. It's perfect. He yeah. captures the street styling with the motorsport he flair. He does, yeah, which is something that's very popular nowadays. We really like that. It's, yeah. it's, it's lower. He's got the stance right, but it's not like overly stretched Definitely. or like useless it's still, yeah. uh, tires. Yeah. <laughs> shout still out. pretty. Shout out useless. Shout out to the useless car crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but these cars, they just look the part. They look like you could drive them right off the screen and go tear them up. Uh, he did this Porsche Macan render. Um, like a desert, ah, I uh, remember. desert Lifted dune bashing, yep. yeah. also with Turbo Max on it, right. silver on red, um, white Turbo Max, big tires, jacked two -door. up, two-door Macan, two -door basically, Macan. He, he was listening to the show last week when Idris said how he loved the two-door exactly. Land Cruisers we were seeing in Dubai, he took this and did the same thing mm -hmm. on a Macan, Macan. which is the, looks absolutely great, doesn't have, you know, it doesn't even have a rear window, it's just like a... Dude, uh, it's awesome. I love it. He's I love got it those, on the Turbo Max. He's I got love the, it. the it's big, got no rear bumper. No, and the big uh, uh, mud flaps. The big flaps. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The guy's got incredible taste. It's good. Uh, he he can even style American cars. Most sometimes people can like only like one style of cars. Uh -huh. They do like Beamers or they do yeah. Volkswagens. This guy's really got a wide taste. Um, he's did this. There it is. This Nova, this Pro Touring Nova wow. with the Ken Block inspired turbo fans. I see that. Uh, turbo fans, people don't know, we used in older motorsports days to, uh, it was like a piece of metal fan that was attached to the outside of the wheel that at speed would draw like a, a vortex would draw that the would, heat yeah. out of the wheel. Yep. And, and help keep the, help keep the brakes, brakes cool. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and this car, this Pro Touring Nova, he's got the turbo fans front and rear and it looks mega yeah i love this uh the the white paint scheme with that you you see it a lot nowadays which is something that was historic you know and in, in a lot of it was an older livery where they have the the circle you know yeah. on the door yeah um the number the number dot the number dot or just without even a number yeah. on there and it, it almost looks, looks like a japanese flag actually now looking at it it does right? it, it, it does look <laughs> very got, similar to japanese flag yeah. um and you can't even tell what motor it is it could be uh some yeah, kind of it, big block actually you know what it says there 2jz he put a 2jz that's See? why it's got the japanese color scheme Dang. flag on the side the guy's got incredible like as always incredible taste uh he's able to he's able to put two different forms right. of of cars or i guess of of tuning together yeah and he does it really well and that's what's so cool about renderings uh, this guy is just sitting in front of his computer dreaming there's no dollar amount yep. assigned to his vision so yep. who would take a nova put 
turbo fans on it and throw a 2JZ swap yeah. in it. Yeah. 2JZ is the big turbo motor, single uh, yeah, turbo, out of, single turbo Supra, out of a Supra. Right? Yeah. So you're mixing Toyota with Dodge with current style or with retro styling of turbo fans that yeah. was with the current livery of a Ken Block Jim Kahana car. I mean, was that's like five different themes in one car and that does, and it looks good. And it looks phenomenal. It looks great. The guy's able to do that flawlessly. Um, I'm curious to what he drives on a daily basis. I do not know what kind of car he drives. Again, I'm only we'll Instagram see. homies with him, so well, I don't we have know. To find out. You got to get on this show. Yeah. Really cool. He's a man. You are mad the man. respect. Oh yeah, this one. This he's got a Lotus Elise, <laughs> like a drag style. It does look very with drag the huge style. rear diffuser. Diffuser on the back. What three piece tarmax? They look like it. Yeah, yeah, they could even have a mono look, but it is a tarmac. Yeah, three piece like a, uh, 1552 tarmax. Yep, 16 inch in the front and <laughs> 19s in the back. It looks, huge. Uh, it looks great. I, I absolutely love it. You know that RWB Hollywood, the um, white RWB. Yes, yeah, um, all, the all white one. Nineties kid. Uh, mm -hmm. Instagram is. Which that, I love that plate. Great plate. Yeah, nineties kid. Yeah, uh, Instagram 90s is uh, Eco Jess or it's E K O G E S. Um, he did renderings for his build. Oh, he did. Yeah, okay. he was having him. You know, what should I? How should I paint it? What should yeah. I do? So. Great person um, to go to yeah. for, for a rendering. Yeah. Yep. Avidis gave him like eight different options. And it's on his Instagram uh, probably like two, three months ago. Yeah. And every single one of them is fire. They look great. And we've, left to see, we've yet to see a livery on that car. I, I believe that car is all white. I've been waiting to right. see what, that, what livery is going to go on that car. Granted, it looks great. It I don't look remember great. if you've seen recently he Speak added the ducktail right. instead of the big spoiler you took the big spoiler off and put a ducktail on there something that we're big huge fans, fans on duck tail. um you'll see that we're going to we're <laughs> we're going to cover Tomini Classics yes. uh which is a private car collection that we were able to visit while we, while in Dubai he had two Porsche Carrera RSs both of them with ducktails 1973 73 RSs both original look phenomenal um, Amazing yeah, cars. love so let's, it. Let's Amazing. get into that. So while we're in Dubai, um, this was not one of our planned funtivities, if you it wasn't, will. Wasn't just yeah. We were out at dinner one night um, with the family, and then all of a sudden, as we're driving out, I'm like, I think I see a Ferrari F40. Yeah. And actually, let me take that back. You don't ever think you see an yeah, F40. You, you know, know damn you well when you see an F40. Yeah. I saw that thing from like 500 yards. I'm like, there's an F40 in that yep. window. We are going after <laughs> dinner and checking that out. They were closed at the time, Yep. but we had to put it on the agenda. Thankfully, Jenny, my wife, approved the agenda uh, change, and we got there. And uh, I'm glad we went there. We, the, it was, I believe it's all one owner yeah. from what we were told uh, owns one of the most amazing car collections that I have ever seen. Some of the rarest cars. Yeah. The guy had such a broad spectrum of cars in there. Um, not only car wise, but color wise, yeah. but it was, it was, and he even had a, a spot in the back, an area in the back that was blocked off that you can only see through a small peephole. Yeah, appointment uh, only style. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yep. So, and this place, we, we entered it initially, um, I think we went on like on a Saturday. We did, yeah. It didn't yeah. look, uh, we didn't make an appointment or anything. We just kind of rolled by when we were like on our way to the du Dubai Mall mm -hmm. to, get, to get your sneakers, right? To get my sneakers, yeah, got yeah. some custom Converse's <laughs> at the Dubai Mall. Um, and we just rolled through, and at first, I mean, it's a, it's a high end car place, so it's not like it was crowded because not many people are shopping for a million dollar automobiles. But we roll in, and at first, we got the impression like it was a museum. Yes. Like all these cars were perfect, not one speck of Flawless, dust on yeah. any of them. Yeah. I think we found one flaw on maybe the GT40. Yeah, the Ford GT40. Yeah. 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 Um, and Which is a race car, so that's acceptable. Of course, yeah. Then you know it's been driven. Um, but the, the cars there all had incredibly low miles. Some yeah. of the rarest cars, like I said, that you've seen. Whoever, we walked in yeah. there. We saw, not only did we see the F40 that we initially had seen in the vid or uh, the night window. before in the window, yeah. but in the far corner, there's a, uh, an F50 parked there. Yep. How often do you, I've never seen an F50 never in seen my an F50. I've never seen an 
F40, I don't believe so. I've seen the F40. I mentioned in the video at the HRE Open House uh, in San Diego. HRE oh, Wheels Open okay. House. Yes. A couple years ago, I saw the Gas Monkey Garage Black F40. Yes. Um, yeah. Which was, I mean, I was blown away at the time, but it, I'd much rather see an original stock F40. I. That one's Definitely. been modified. It had different headlights on it. Uh, what headlights did it have on it? It had like some, excuse single, me for saying, kind of whack LED okay. square, oh, not that's period. Funky. That's I don't know whose idea was that. Sorry, Gas yeah. Monkey. <laughs> Bad decision on that. The wheels were cool. Uh, they also had some weird exhaust where like, it had some like flange coming out of the three exhausts. So you, it kind of looked like one big exhaust oh, oh, instead that. of three. But the three were still there. Yeah. So, uh, it was like, confused. Sort it was of confused. Like, a, like a exhaust over an yeah. exhaust. But I literally went to that open house just to see that F40. I'm like, Jenny, there's an F40 there. We got to go see it. It's from Texas. I've never seen one. I got to see this. So mm -hmm. big. I mean, F40 as a car guy, Ferrari F40, it's like one of the most it's, raw. It is. Yeah. It's historic. It's, you know, it's um, twin turbo V8, yeah. hard to, no traction control, no radio, no AC. I think it's competition. What was its competition at Lamborghini that time? Diablo. It was a Diablo. Matter of yep. fact, the top speed Diablo was 202. The F40 was 196. And I had the car and driver, I think road and track magazine from uh -huh. 94, I think it was. Yeah. And I remember it and I, right on the cover, it's like 202. Ferrari 196. I'm like, oh, the Lamborghini's faster. I'm like, <laughs> what else That's is there to know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like five miles per hour, whatever it is, matters yeah. at that but, speed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, who <exactly>. cares? <laughs> Which I personally love Diablos. I mean, it's yeah, F40 yeah, hands yeah, down F40, over a Diablo, F40, though, right? F40 hands down 100 percent yeah. for me as well. Um, so basically, we saw an F40. We knew there was an F40 in the window. Yes, that's the car. That's the car that attracted us there. So we like we gotta go check out this place. We went and um, then. Yeah. Let's talk. What 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 car did we see first? Uh, we walked in right around the corner, F50, boom, yeah. right in front of you. Um, and but the car that really stood out was, I guess it was just right in front of you. Yeah. Was a one of the 1973 Carrera RSs, bright green, uh, yellow Fuchs wheels, yellow little Carrera livery on the yeah. side. You know the RS livery. Um, John Deere paint scheme. John Deere paint scheme. As Idris puts it in the video, yeah. it's perfect. It basically looks like a Porsche Carrera RS John Deere tractor. John Deere tractor, which, yeah. <laughs> which I love. You know, I, I, I like loud cars. I do uh, like green. I like. I do, I do yeah. like green. Um, and I the fact itself that the that the car just looks phenomenal. A '73 RS. Yeah. Looks great. The fact that it was original. Yeah. Um, that was my favorite car of the whole. Place. As I say that, I feel bad. The <laughs> F40, but that was so unexpected. We went there knowing there was going to be an F40 there, and then we roll up on this green and yellow. I love green, so that like really spoke to me. My iPad cover is green. It's proof. I'm not lying. <laughs> uh, but it was beautiful. Beautiful it car. Was, yeah. Beautiful interior. It was we, fresh to death. We turned the corner, as I said, Ferrari F50 right behind us, full carbon fiber body. Um, you can even almost, you know, you can, you not almost, you can you, see you, it. You could see like the, five feet the, away. The, the, it almost looked like orange peel. You could see the carbon uh, fiber weave with the paint over it. Um, you definitely couldn't see that in the F40. Not I as believe. much. Not as much. Which I remember reading about in magazines about the F40, especially comparing it to the Lamborghini. It's got thin paint. You can see the carbon fiber weave through it. Uh, not really. A little bit. If you really, really, much, really yeah. looked, we had to really look for it. Um, but the F50, literally from five feet away, you could tell it, the whole body is carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. And another thing I didn't realize until um, we were later and I was editing these videos is F50 is a hard top convertible. So all F50s have a removable roof, which I think ah. sets it apart from a lot of supercars. Definitely. You know, and he had the roof off. He had the roof yeah, off. And we didn't even really notice. We were just so in awe of all the cars. Of course, yeah. We didn't even really think about it at the time. but. I mean, that says a lot that a supercar is able to take the roof off and not lose any rigidity or not be beefed up. Uh, that's like a real race car. It was, yeah. And, it was incredible. And I've always, I've always thought that F50s were, um, as I had seen them, I always yeah. thought they were so, so big. So like, big. I thought it was a long supercar. I thought it was, 
we saw it in person. Yeah. It was, it was a short. It was a short. It seems small. It was a small wheelbase car. Two seats, uh, an engine, and a humongous wing. Yeah. And, and the rear dish, the dish, the concave on the rear wheels. Yeah. It, it was. Oh, crazy. Good you know, about it. Those, those, those are the cars that set all. Everybody's buying concave wheels now. Somebody needs to make an F50 style in inspired wheel. Yes. Because those wheels are fresh with yeah. the split wide five yeah. spoke. They they look great. They love do it. look great. I love five spoke wheels, uh, especially unique style five spoke wheels like these two right here. Um, and that is a perfect example. And I love when the, the front has like the convex and the rear has got the concave. Mm -hmm. it, just, it just, you can tell from any angle pretty much that that car means business and it's got some r big big meaty tires in the back it does um yeah, that car was really a treat to see what was uh what was the next car that we saw uh Remember? the next we, we saw i think the next one we reviewed was that like maserati uh that was just you know it was cool but it was just okay um right next to it was that trans am yeah, which yeah, your cousin they, Milad, uh, who's from Afghanistan and yeah, living in Dubai, living Th in Dubai, and that studying was his in Dubai, favorite car. Which, yeah, for somebody who's not a car fanatic, yeah, not for America. us, you know, we we understood because he he loved the American yeah. Iranis, the you know that's got the Phoenix on the hood. Yep. It's got it definitely looks badass rock yep. star. It does, car. and out there that um, car is super rare. Exactly, I, I don't think we ever. We really saw any of them on yeah. the streets, you which know? is awesome to get his perspective. Like Milad, if you could have any one of these cars, which one do you have? He's like, I'll take that brown Trans Am. Yeah. We're like, what? I'm like, we could literally buy you one in the states for like ten grand and yep. ship it over. <laughs> yeah, there's no problem. And he was actually thinking about so it. So he might be trading in it. his Camry to yep. get a. Uh, <laughs> which, a Trans by the Am. way, his Camry. Fully oh, yeah. kitted Camry. Yeah, I don't even sport know. edition the Camry. Best, best looking Camry it was I've ever fat. seen. Don't. <laughs> don't replay that ever again. Cause again yeah. yeah, that but, was. But that his was cousin's a, Camry was the shit. Yeah, it was a nice looking Camry, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, the next car, though, with that really tripped us out was that uh, that blue was Fiat, it the Fiat Abarth. Fiat Abarth, yeah. That thing was a crazy. It looked like a micro machine. It did. I'd never seen something like nope, that before. Never. Um, the car looked great. You know, it it was. It reminded me of a of a 356 yeah you know it's got it had the but same smaller. size but smaller, smaller. It's uh, narrow, more narrow it was yeah it had a great a great color to it had the hard top with the bubble roof it did yeah and that's a that's a cool look rear engine with the uh the air intakes had on the, the air scoops on the, on the, back. On the back yeah um it's it was a 1958 and i was just reading the cc's 747 cubic centimeter engine that's a tiny that's tiny motor, motor. That is a tiny But it's motor. a tiny car. Yeah. It looked it looked beautiful though. Yeah. Um also saw that awesome Mercedes uh with that looks like, like that a fifties. Yeah, Mercedes with that Nardo 55. gray. Yeah. Uh, that took us back because the dash convertible. It was like a one piece wood dash. It was all one like piece. There the was whole, no brakes. There was no it was all just Yeah, not just dash trim. I'm talking about the whole dashboard was one piece of wood. And it looked incredible. It also had a three-speed manual gearbox on the tree. On the tree. With, three with, the, on the, tree. with yep. the clutch pedal. With the clutch pedal. Um, car looked beautiful. Super I can just, cool. I could just imagine, yeah. you know, driving down. And that's what was taking us back so much in this in this uh, museum. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's called Too Many Classics. I don't really want to call it a dealership because that's not doing it justice. It's a museum where you can buy the art. Yes. That's, yeah. Basically. That's, let's yeah, go with yeah. that. We'll say that. Yeah. But whoever curated this museum had like you said it's like unique cars but amongst the cars they were all so such unique and beautifully different colors there were yeah you, you all had the that details. bright blue abarth you had the gray mercedes you, the, you know the brown trans am oh my god just, just yeah, yeah with those three cars of course the f40 and f50s were red f50 yeah. i believe was like uh, barchetta red barchetta i believe red, the dark red. darker red yeah um yeah, just they even had some Louis Vuitton um, luggage sitting over in the corner, so my my wife had something to look at. Uh, <laughs> just to, just to set the theme a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another car he had there, he had an E-Type. E-Type Jag. Of course. Can't go wrong with the E-Type Jag. Can't, I mean, some people call it the most beautiful car that's ever made. Um, yeah. I could agree, but at the same time, I also like a lot of cars. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, my uncle Wade, um, the guy who got me these car and driver yearbooks when I was a kid. 
um, he was a, a big car guy and he actually bought an E-Type Jag to restore. Um, it was silver with uh, maroon interior. Oh, wow. And I remember sitting in it. I was probably 14, um, hanging out like on Christmas because we saw each other in the holidays and mm -hmm. stuff. And I remember sitting in this car and, you know, it was a little, uh, a little worn, but he was going to have the whole thing fully restored. And I was just like blown away at the experience and but at the excitement i was like oh my god i can't wait to see this thing go i can't wait to see it drive i can't wait for him to take me for a ride in it maybe he'll even like let, let me borrow it, it from yeah. prom or something <laughs> that's what you're looking yeah. for too yeah. i can't wait to take a girl <laughs> out in it i can't wait yeah. <laughs> maybe i'll fix his computer he'll let me borrow his car you know yeah. it's, it's an even trade <laughs> but sadly um he invested thousands and thousands of dollars in this car but the mechanic turned out to be a not honest guy Shiesty. and just took all of his money took the car and my uncle wade never saw any of it again so it was a super bummer i never saw the car again he never saw the car again never got any of his money back make horrible horrible car make sure story, if, you're, if you're building a car out there with somebody yeah you if somebody's out there building a car for you trusted builder don't give them all your money builder. up front yeah you gotta watch your back because he got taken and luckily he had dough so it wasn't like the end of the world but whew, that broke my heart to see that yeah. happen i i, I hate it's more the loss of the e, e type yeah i mean yeah and the dishonesty money, man you can't dishonesty. be dishonest and I say it all the time, car karma is real. If you're mean to car somebody- Car karma is if, real. Yeah, it, yeah. and karma is real in general, but especially yeah. car karma. You sell somebody a funky part, you take somebody's money, that's gonna come right around. The next car you buy is gonna be a lemon, and it's gonna come right back for you. So watch out, be nice. Treat everybody like you would wanna be treated yourself. Yep. Uh, what else we got? We got that 300 SL. 300 Gold SL wing. Gold Wing. Oh, um, Gold Wing. Have you ever seen one of those opinion, before? I've never seen one of those. No. What we should have done is ask him to have the doors come we up. Should've. <laughs> we should have. Either way, um, beautiful car. Absolutely amazing. It was in the, the classic Mercedes Benz Silver. Yeah, it was. You know, Mercedes Benz Silver always looks phenomenal. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, they had some motorcycles in there. Neither of us are big motorcycle guys. But, in, but they were cool to see. Incredible craftsmanship. Yeah. I believe they Older were race Harley bikes. Davidson. Yep. Harleys, uh, which are more I rare out had, there. But yeah. I think he had a Ducati somewhere in there, an yep. older Ducati race bike. Yep. Um, uh, they also had a Ford GT40, like a real GT40 weird, race car. Yep. Yep. Red, white stripes. It was incredible. Uh, they had a Cobra replica from uh, AC. He did. Co from he, had uh, a, he had a Shelby Cobra. I believe it was a super performance kit. That's the one. Um, you can purchase those out here. Yeah. If you're looking to build a car, all you have to do is purchase the kit, purchase the donor car. Um, or an engine. Or an engine. Yeah. yeah. Some people will put the 3025 liter in there. I think Others this one had a 427. This one did have the 427. Yeah. It had all the bells and whistles. Fresh. It was really nice. It looks good. It looked like a real Cobra. Definitely. It had all the right bumper supports and everything. It looked really on point. That's probably one of my favorite cars. I absolutely love Shelby Cobras. Yeah, and you see uh, those out here. You see you them? You do, definitely. I think I'm a bigger fan. In Orange fan. County, we're talking about. Yeah, I, th yeah, I think yeah. I'm a bigger fan of the Daytona Coupe. Yes. Uh, which I absolutely love, the Daytona Coupe. Mark the me body down for lines, a super that, performance. That rear end. Uh, Daytona Coupe. Super performance factory file of any of the builders out there yeah. can get you a Daytona Coupe. Um, yeah, let's go have some well one of those. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Let's hook yeah. that up. We'll put a 2JZ in there. Matt, can you start the paperwork on a super performance yeah. Coupe? Yeah. For, yeah. Right yeah. Thanks, <laughs> uh, they also had that 360 Challenge Stradale. They did. Ferrari yep. in red. Uh, never seen one of those before. So and, and what's the di what's a challenge for all? That's so that it's has like a race, the, basically a race spec version three sixty. Yeah, I think it's got coilover suspension. Okay. Um, probably more aggressive engine tune. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. Everything is a little bit turned up. I don't know the specifics, but um, I know that that's one of the most sought after drivers' performance cars uh, that you can get for Ferrari. Those mm -hmm. challenge series. Um, which are just more race spec. It's like, I feel like a RS style Porsche okay. challenges to the, the Ferrari. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right next to that challenge was the F40. And I love the F40. It, that F40, not only was it an original F40, would it have like uh, 2,100 kilometers or something? It had very, very Basically low miles. no miles. Yeah. It was insane looking, perfect quality. It didn't have a clear bra on it. It was no chips on the front bumper. Uh, it was perfection in an automobile. 
Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, for me, I remember reading an article or reading articles about how uh, Ferrari was actually out, and I believe it was Le Mans '67, '68, '69. It was three years in a row um, that the GT40 came out and was just killing. Dominating, it. right? It was just dominating. And everybody was blown away, and um, that's really what for me put the put the GT40 on the map. And then of course, you know the the newer release of the Ford GT, or I guess the yeah. the more recent car, um, looking looking incredible. You know, Ford GT is one of my favorite cars. It's a good look. And now they just redesigned it now too. Did they for yeah. 2015? Yeah, 2016? remember we saw it at SEMA. We did see we one of those it. at SEMA. It's got an EcoBoost engine. <laughs> Which just means it's turboed. <laughs> <laughs> but it does sound good, good for the environment. Yeah, yeah. yeah it sounds great. <laughs> but yeah, just that, add that eco in front of something. That F forty. I don't even know. Words can't even describe seeing this car. It's basically everything I ever thought it would be. Seeing it in real life, especially yeah. this example of one. Yeah. It was perfect. So yeah, too many classics. Incredible. Um, the people there were. Nice very dudes. nice. Yeah. yeah, they allowed us to film in there. They allowed us to peek through the peek through the back window. Yeah. Um, check out their website, uh, TominiClassics.com. We'll put the link in the comments down below because their uh, car collection, their inventory is absurd. Um, matter of fact, we can just roll right into it. What it, did they have a California spider there? Yeah, because that's let's talk about that. This week's wheelie cool find sorry we already did wheelie cool find this week's wheelie cool for sale is featuring a tomini classics and it is a 1960 ferrari 250 gt short wheelbase california and i don't know if you are not familiar with the car yeah you are surely familiar Speak with ferris it. bueller's day off that's the movie um that's the movie that's the car I'm not sure if you can spin back miles if you put the car on a, on a couple <laughs> jacks. Hopefully it doesn't no. go through a window. If it does, it's going to be a $46 million bite out of your pocket. What a car. But you need to check out their website. They really have – oh, does it have brown interior? It does, oh yeah. Almost like a dark God. chocolate brown interior. Dark blue with chocolate brown? I'm telling you, yeah. I feel like this guy doesn't go out and just says, I want a California he goes, for my yeah. collection. He goes out and be like the most rare color combination yeah. California. Whoever's curating this stock to many classics, hats off to you, man, because your taste is spot on. Yeah, spot it's on. phenomenal. Tremendous taste. Incredible. Yeah. Um, so that was too many classics. It was unexpected. We did not plan on going there. Um, we were hoping to see lots of cool cars in Dubai, which we did. And then this place just was the icing on the cake. And none of these cars had prices on them, and nor do they have prices on their website. So it's a full fantasy shopping experience, at least for us and most people. But it's still worth checking them out. Definitely. Um, the cars over there in Dubai, I feel like aren't going to be their actual accurate value because it's Dubai prices. So like that Trans Am, you can buy one for 30 grand out here. That's all finished. But in Dubai, they're more rare. So it's probably going to be more like 50. Of course. Um, yeah. But really, who cares about the price? Yeah. If you have to ask the price, you probably and can't you probably afford can't it. Can't afford and guess it. what? I can't. Yeah. So <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Except maybe a display. Except maybe a, a oh, scale car. Maybe, but probably maybe. that. Still not, not even. Grand. Yeah. 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 I might be able to have uh, the homie and Gillian do a rendering, I could probably hit him up. That would be nice. That would be yeah, sweet. Throw some that. Turbo Max on a That's what you should do next. On an F40. Ferrari, Ferrari F40, throw some Turbo Max, do a cool little livery on Please. there. Please. Let's do that. You or a California. That or a California. Let's do a race, because nobody's going to do a race-inspired California ever. Do a motorsports theme, California or F40. I got 20 on it. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right, guys. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, please remember to check out new shows every Wednesday and new videos dropping every Friday. And if you like this video, hit us with a thumbs up. Um, and please just remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, as always, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at wheelie underscore cool. Like us on Facebook for exclusive wheelie cool content. Until next time. I'm Stu. And I'm Easy. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day, man. Wheelie cool day. Peace out.